Hi, and welcome back to this channel. Today, I am going to show you how to design an image hover overlay effect like this one that I'm showing on the screen right now. So during this design, we are basically going to be using HTML and CSS. So let's jump right inside the code. So I'm gonna start by designing the HTML part of this web design. So the first tag will be the div tag and I will say class, I'll call this class container and I will say another div class that I will call box like this. And inside this div class, I'm going to write another div tag and I'll say class image box like this. And inside this image, uh, I'm gonna write the image tag. And I'll say source images, images, which is the folder in which I'm storing all my images. So I'll say image two, save like this. So right after that, I'm going to add another div tag. And I will give it the class of text. I will I write another div tag. I'll give it the class content and I will say H1. I will say, for example, coding, okay? And right after that tag, I'm gonna write a paragraph tag. I'm just gonna put some dummy text, then save. So now if I come to this and open my project, right, this is how it is showing. So I am simply gonna copy this portion of code, okay, from the div tag and class box, like this, I will copy and paste it. So I will paste seven times. So this is the first time, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I am simply going to change some uh, few elements here. For example, the image, I will change image two. I will say, for example, image 11. And then here, instead of saying coding, I will say, for example, web. Down here, I'm going to change another image. I will say image three. And uh, instead of coding, I will say design. The next image will be image five. And I will remove coding and write marketing down here. Then the next image will be image six. Then I'm going to write media. After image six, I'm going to put image seven. Then I'm going to write SEO. So this one will be image nine. I will write blog. All right. And then the last element will be image eight. And I'm gonna write support. So all these images is, are according to the images I have in my images folder here, as you can see. So now after doing that, I can now start by writing my um, CSS code. Let me click here in the CSS code. I will start with the generic properties. So I will say body. So margin as usual, zero and padding zero as well. Font family, I will say poppins because poppins is the font, the Google font that we have imported here. And uh, I can also put the background color. So I can say to see, to see 54 like this. After that, I'm going to start styling the class container. I will say width 1280 pixels, minimum height 500 pixels. And I will say display flex, uh, background, I'm sorry, uh, I'll say white, and then margin 70 pixels or two, like this. Let me refresh, all right. So I need to add some more properties. So I'll say flex direction, row and flex wrap, maybe wrap. So the next thing is I'm gonna style will be container and the class box. The position will be relative. It's width, I'll give it 290 pixels. So each box is going to contain the image as you can see here. Okay, here I have the box and the box is containing the image and then this overlay background and the text on it. So this is what I'm 
styling right now. So I'll say height, I'll say the same as the width. So it's going to be a square and then background. Um, let me give it a dark background like this. So margin, so it needs to have a margin of 10 pixels and box sizing, border box. And then finally display. Let's say inline black. Let me come and refresh. So I think I need to say container again, box, and then image box. So I'll say position relative, overflow, hidden. And uh, so I need to style the image tag itself. So I'll say box, image box, and then image. So I'll say max width, 100% uh, and save. All right, now this is it. So I need to adjust the container. Let me comment this. So I'm going to add some animation, or uh, I would say transition. Now we transform one second and opacity. So this opacity is going to add some transparency to the image. Yeah. Let me say 0.6, for example. Okay. So I'm going to say container box, hover the text. Um, and now uh, let me remove this. Oh, rather say image box like this. So I'll say transform scale 1.2 and opacity 1. So you will see that when I hover, there is going to be the effect, the transformation of the image, okay? And the opacity is also going to change as soon as I put my cursor on the image. So the next thing to style will be container uh box hover point image box now uh that will be container box uh, text yeah because i want to put the text on top of the image okay as you can see here the text is um down but i want it to be on top as you can see here the text is coming on top of the image so now i'm going to start styling that so i will say position absolute top 10 pixels and left 10 pixels play button will also be 10 pixels and uh, the right will be 10 pixels so this is going to make sure that the text is going to be on top of the image and also positioned at the center and uh, now i'll say background so i want the background to be transparent so this is what I'm going to write. So this is going to give uh, a red color. Okay. That will be transparent. So I will say transform scale uh, zero. And then the transition will be transform. All right. All right. So because we said transform zero, that's why it's not um, as you can see, it's not showing here. When you refresh, you can see that um, the background image is disappearing. So I need to add another CSS property here. So I will say container box hover. So this is to make sure that uh, the text and the background overlay are going to show up as soon as I put my cursor on the image. Okay, as you can see here, when I put my cursor, nothing is happening. So with this CSS uh, property that we are styling right now, it will make sure that the text will appear on top of the image on over. Okay, so I'll say transform. So this is going to be the only um, code I'm going to write here. So scale one, then refresh. So as you can see, when I put the cursor on the image now, the background overlay is showing on the screen and you also have the transition showing. Okay, that's it. So it's now time for me to style the text. So I will simply say container 
and then say box and text, then content. So I will say position absolute again, then top will be 25% and text align will be center. So I need to add the padding, 15 pixels. Then the color of the text will be white. Let me refresh. Yeah. So let me now style the, um, the other text. So I will say container box, that will be details, then content and H1. So I will simply say margin zero, padding zero, then font size, 20 pixels. I will simply copy this and change H1. Instead of H1, I will say P. So P here is the paragraph tag and I'm going to change this and come and refresh. So as you can see, so that's it. Let me put this margin again and come back here. Yes. So what I'm going to do is simply remove this background color then save. Yeah. So now we have our image hover. So I need, you see that the text here is show, showing a little bit downward. So what I'm going to change is going to be here instead of, uh, so I was going to say top 15 because it was 25. If we say 25 here, you will see that the text is really down. So if I say 10%, for example, and then refresh. Yeah. As you can see, the text is now showing at the center. Okay, so, and uh, I also need to change the width of the container so that all the boxes will be at the center of the page. Then refresh. Yes, as you can see, the boxes are now at the center of the page. Uh, we'll quickly change the background color. So make it a little bit darker yeah so as you can see here that's what we are having so guys this is how you can design this uh, particular image hover overlay effect okay as you can see by putting the cursor on the image the text and then an overlay background is appearing so it's a very nice and simple design that you can um, you can design by using html and csl so, so I hope this video was informative. Thanks for viewing and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.